Negation part four. So we're getting away from nicht now. There's one other way to negate, and it always deals, or most of the time, deals with the word ein. So if you have the word ein in your sentence, and that's what you're wanting to negate, you will add the letter ka to beginning of that and get kein. So kein is definite, defined as no or not a or not any. So I've got a sample sentence over here in English. I do not have a pencil, and this not a that I'm talking about is right here. Now, a long time ago in English, we would have rephrased that as I have no pencil. And that's what German actually does. See, we make it a little more complicated in English. We put more words in, but German just rephrases it to I have no pencil. So that's why I'm going to define kind as no. Um, so when you're putting sentences in German with not a or not any, you're going to need to retranslate that in English so that you can kind of get it in, a, I guess, a, a more primitive, older form of English, and it'll make it a little easier. Now, back over here, I've got some examples in German, and we're going to negate these. And you notice that we have the word ein in all of them. Eine, eine, und einen. So, all we have to do to negate this is just put the letter K in front of that. Hast du eine Minute frei? Do you have a minute free? Hast du keine Minute frei? Do you not have a minute free? Do you have no minute free? Hast du keine Minute frei? Nummer zwei, wir trinken eine Cola. We're drinking a Coke. Wir trinken keine Cola. We're drinking no Coke. Or I guess we could put it in kind of very complex English. We are not drinking a Coke. But a little bit easier if you rephrase to we drink no Coke. Kaufst du einen Tisch? Are you buying a table? Um, are you buying no table? Kaufst du keinen Tisch? So negating ein is pretty simple. Basically, we just stick the letter K in front of ein and that's it. Now, I'll do another video kind of explaining the difference between when to use it and when not, but that's it for now. Tschüss.